Business owners and entrepreneurs came to learn new tactics and gain practical skills on how to survive in a growing economy. We're having it because our members need tools to help them to succeed and it's great to just be able to put inspiration along with all these educational tracks out there for them uh, so that they can, they can bring them back to their businesses and help them to be more successful. Keynote morning speaker Mitt Romney shared stories of past successes and failures of businesses. What do your customers think of you? What do your suppliers think of you? How tough are your competitors? Where's their product better than our product? Every aspect, you know, what's happening in the, in the government that affects the business, just lay it all out. So number one, a complete strategic audit. Number two, <laughs> decide the way ahead based upon three elements, focus, focus, and focus. Decide what's critical for your future and focus on that element. The biggest experience I had with companies that were failures was they tried to do too many things instead of focusing on the thing that would really make all the difference. Once you decide, you thoroughly analyzed where you are, you've decided what to focus on, then you have to make sure you got the right players to execute what you focused upon. I was very, very satisfied with, um, with what he gave us today and the tools that our members can take away. Hall of Fame speaker Dan Clark has worked with Fortune 500 companies, Super Bowl champions, national trade associations, and government agencies. But his message was based on the importance of core values. We hit rock foundation. We hit rock belief system. We hit rock core values. We hit how we've been raised. And if we understand the significance of diving deeper even in the few minutes that we have today, I would hope that you would leave believing as I believe that one moment in time really can change our lives forever proof. He is a spitball of energy and he will certainly inspire and leave tools, many great tools, how to be a better you. Chamber members who attended the business summit also heard from Utah Governor Gary Herbert about Utah's prominence in the economy. Well, thank you. He thank attributed you, Utah's statewide success to, to fiscal with prudence with less government, competitive so tax rates, upward mobility, right and a skilled workforce. Most of the stuff we deal with are common sense. Doesn't matter whether you're Republican, Democrat, or Libertarian, or Independent, or whatever you want to be. Uh, most of the stuff, the solutions, come from just common sense and working together. And we're good at doing that here in the state of Utah. And as the U.S. Chamber said, the spirit of collaboration cooperation is found in greater abundance in Utah than any state in America today. That's a secret part of our success. So thank the you Chamber so much, presented Governor. Governor Herbert with the Southern Utah Champion of Business Award. Because he has been so instrumental in making business better here in, in the state of Utah. Breakout sessions also had a wide range of topics for businesses. Um, taxes and law, we've got active shooter training. Yes, here in St. George, active shooter training. It's very important. Um, Cybersecurity, um, marketing, just all different types of things. They're going to learn how to build a website on HTML. The Chamber offered the free expo for Chamber businesses to get more public exposure. Many of the vendors gave away prizes and offered free drawings. All right. Stress reliever. There you go. It's all about giving value at the chamber to our businesses. And the more value we can create for them, the more successful they'll be. And then our mission is accomplished. Palermo said judging by the number of attendees at this business summit, it fulfilled a real need. Um, you know, I, I set the threshold at 200, and we surpassed that. Um, we're probably at about 250, so for our first year, that is just an incredible number, which tells me that we're doing what our businesses need. We're giving them what they need in this. The Chamber plans to hold this business summit and expo annually. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.